Hmm. I should close the door. Um. Anyway. Um. Welcome everybody. Um. Back to the moth borrow jack. The heart moth. And uh, I forgot something. To close the door. Just uh, one second. Sometimes there are some uh, disturbance. Always need to go for full silence. So, um, anyway, let's get started, shall we? Since that we ha oh god, we have pressed. Uh, I pressed the wrong button. Did I? Yes, I did. Oh no, 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 no. Um, one sec. One sec. One whole sec, please. One sec. Figured out that I had the wrong um, uh, resolution on the screen. It's supposed to be the 180 by 2 blah blah blah, you know the one. So we need to keep that on. And this is why we always have a backup plan. All these things would work. And I will now put this right where I want it. Right there. Point of view, resolution, increase, there you go. So yeah. Um. Yep, there you go. Anyway, let's continue. So, let's start. So, when do you go here? Yeah, the day I get I'll get the Mac Dome of a day. Okay, well, there you go. Um. That's not the right tool, I knew that, because that is not looking like the right tool at all. Um, we need two, yeah, pencil two, there you go. Put pencil two now, switch it back to five, as always. And there you go, we have now fully completed the thing that we want. And now we can go for... Oh boy, now we can go for this again. All right. Um. Yes. Now we finally need to do this. I need to zoom that in as well. Oh boy, this is gonna be a pain in the ass to draw this mod. Not because of all the things that are coincident with it, but uh, because of all the uh. I think we have a little problem here. Because mm. of all the amount of color that we're missing. Yeah. Ugh, oh, this is gonna be so hard to draw, isn't it? Oh, please. I will tell you that. So, uh, let's see. Because we need to have the same amount of. Uh, differentiation between both of them, that means 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we need 7. 7 feathers. Alright, so we need 7 on them. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. This should, f this should work then. So if we now have like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, Six, seven, two, three. So we're just gonna make make this a little bit lo a little bit. Uh, I just say in white and width. Yeah, there you go. Width, the width of the uh, the width, the width of the. Uh, no, nah, not width. Nah, what? What? Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce that word again. It's so hard sometimes to pronounce correctly the words that you wanted to pick off. So yeah, um, I'm gonna continue, you know, drawing it and then making sure that the length and width, yeah, width. I'll go with width this time. Width, width. That should be the word. Correct. Anyway. Anyway, this is what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna just draw and do it casually and continue 
a new phone one upon it. And eventually I will get to the point where the length should work. Alright, so this would work and then I need to now sharpen it up a little bit. Alright, so I need to sharpen it. Not that sharp. Not that sharp, but I need to sharpen it. Why not? Yeah, there you go. So yeah, um, I hope you'll have a great day because I do. I'm a little bit tired, but that's all. I'll try to figure out how to do things correctly and so. I will continue drawing this and then from there on I will just, you know, do my casual stuff. I just need to figure out if the length of the... Well, the length of the... Ah, could be working. Could be working. So yeah, these amount of we uh, these uh, feathers should work correctly. So as long as I'm just doing whatever I'm what I ever did do before, and this should work correctly as it as planned. The only downside is that it is gonna be very troublesome to do. Because of the amount of um, the amount of space I need to work with around it, so it's very difficult to draw, you know, wings whenever you are like, you know, you want to make them set, uh, you want to keep the um, insect point of look to it, but then you should go for like veins inside of the wings which I'm not gonna go for but I still want to keep that feeling of you know that um, section of wings so this is why I'm drawing in two different kind of uh, views upon the um, feathers so yeah I'm very happy that it works out It's just that uh, most of this is just going to be me drawing feathers this time. Because, you know, there are a lot of feathers to deal with. Oh my. So, yeah. Um, today was actually quite a good day because um, we are working on the garden. Uh, on the back side of the, uh, at the back side of my um, of the house, so uh, we now finally decide which color we're going to go for. So we're going for natural oak looking color. So it's brownish, brownish slash orange, and this should work correctly because of the amount of uh, well. It should be look fine because we also use that color on the uh, on the place where we place the tables and all that stuff in the backyard, on the back garden. So it should not be that bad for a fence. Everything is better than just you know annoying uh, annoying bush that just keeps on growing and develops a lot of dust. It's really annoying when a plant can do that. You gather so much dust. It's like almost constricting other plants as well, so I'm glad we got it out, but it was a real hard, hard thing to do. Oh yeah, now I need to make sure that I have this kind of uh yeah. 
Sorry about this, I'm a little bit rusty upon drawing the uh, texture. So I'm gonna now continue working on the texture as well. Uh, the texture that we used beforehand was... How long? Uh, that long, alright good. So we use this kind of length. Alright. Good. Good, that's good. That's great. Just wanted to make sure that I have the right length uh, up on the feathers, otherwise uh, it would be very hard to do so. Um, the main reason is that I want to keep everything the same. So I don't want to have like, you know, one part is not the same as the other. Which is quite strange if you consider that wings are almost identical from each other. Made of the patterns as well, so. I want to keep that all the same. I want to keep all the. Um, I want to keep the field depth the same. So I'm trying to keep up with the uh, very chaotic structurized um, first time drawing it. So this is like the first time I drew these kind of wings. So. It will not look the same as, you know, if I would have tried this multiple times, but, you know. I drew a lot of birds, well, bird-like creatures, but mostly around the head, so. This is the first time I'm actually using big, giant uh, feathers to cover a fully wing. Also, it needs to be on pattern on moth, so that means, like, it's really you have like these big giant veins of wing feathers and then you go from that to here so you have the midsection which has tiny feathers and then you have big feathers on the on the vein parts and that will create the characteristic of a moth like uh, look because you want to keep up with a moth wing because this is supposed to be a moth hybrid it's supposed to be a hawk moth hybrid so yeah um, also, it needs to produce electricity, so I need to keep that in mind as well. So, how I will do that? Well, I will go for static electricity, which it says. So, I think I'm gonna do that in the back. Or, oh, well, not in the back, I mean the uh, bottom side of it, so the tail. I'm just wondering how I'm gonna make the tail, but I'm gonna make it look like, you know, it is filled up. So it is filled up like, uh, how do you say that creature? Um, a firefly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I need to take a good. I need to take a good look how a firefly uh, creates that. Uh, well, I know it is made. Of, I know how it's made, and I also know how the how it can create a light. But I just want to make sure that I have the right. Characteristics of art. I don't want to. I don't want to copy it. No, I want to make sure that it looks more moth-like. I also need to include feathers because it is a hawk moth. But I'm gonna go for the mechanism that is actually included inside of the tail, inside of the tail, instead of the back or the fat, uh, instead of the back or the uh, wings. This way the chargeable energy can be charged up in the back and then, you know, use as a kind of uh, uh, static field, which then zaps around the creature, because, you know, the feathers are conducting, are able to conduct uh, the energy. So it goes from the back to the wings and back. This way you have the static energy and then, you know, the, bir the bird can actually release it by, you know, flapping its wings. This creates the effect of um, an ability that would actually be working well. So it stores up the static electricity in the back and then, you know, it can release it on, uh, on, on, on demand instead of having this re retroactive version. Like, you know, big giant feathers that are actually static electricity. No, no, no. If you go for the back and then, you know, if you go for the back version and it has like this reserve battery that can then produce it and then form this static field that then can zap, you know. 
zip around for the uh, unleash energy it would be a better be a better idea this way you can also have multiple charges if you want to hey blue nice to see you I'm still working on it but you know I'm getting better at it I just was uh, explaining about the electricity so how because Hax actually asked me that I asked Hax like what kind of ability does this thing have and then you know he gave me a couple of things on, on the list you know uh, let's see if we can find it right yeah let's let's there you, there it is there it is so allow me to show you right here it has this the static shock uh, the static shock and it has uh, talents so I need to keep that in mind so this is why I'm going for the, this is why I'm going for the back of it to use it then but yeah so far so good I like it uh, let's see so now I need to go onwards up here so I need to move towards here until there so I need to put right here I need to put some nice little stripe it's gonna be a long 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 branch to go for alright there you go wow that hurt my ears So now I need to change it up. So now I'm just going here because of the way the um, nerve goes. There we go. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's that's normally what I want. That's the 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 details that I'm uh, the details that I'm using on the on the wings and all that stuff. That's because um, I always have done that because of my uh, drawings that I normally do. I always keep the texture in mind, so this is always what I want to. So nothing in this creature does not have a texture. This way, it will create the field of depth and view. Of uh, well, it creates a feeling of real re uh, realism, or well, it creates the uh, it creates the style that I'm always using. Ah, damn, this is hard. Uh, I need big ones to do this. Yeah. So yeah, I always I always try to do it because that's my way of doing things. I always felt like doing it anyway and the main reason why I'm doing it is because it gives the feeling and the style that I'm using so that all the things that I drew are the same kind of feeling to it as you can see with this picture right uh, let's see which picture do I need then I need hold on I'll just bring up a picture, then you can see it. No, that is bad. Oh, there you have it. That's yeah, that's a good enough one. That's a good enough one. Come on. As you can see, this is my earlier work, so it has less uh, field of depth because of the way of not having colors and shading uh, that much. This way, uh, my drew my drawings are not that uh, detailed, but the detail inside of it is still there. So yeah, that's why uh, that's actually a part of my uh, that's a part of my style. Like I like to keep on, you know, keeping the detail on, keeping the detail on. So if I'm going like over here, maybe yeah, you can see that. So everything has the details. So everything needs it. Everything wants it, but since that I'm now using on the tablet, I always need to keep my reminding like, oh yes, I need to keep on the details so that I can then, you know, uh, create this realistic, uh, realistic view 
of my drawings. Like it, it creates the feeling of you know feathers. It creates the feeling of height. It can create the feeling of wood and forest and mountains. You know, it just get, the textures. The textures are very important to me personally, and I'm very devoted to getting those things right. Sometimes I don't, and then uh, it frustrates me. Like you know, bricks on the church project—they are really hard to do. All right. Um, now I can zoom out and I can go back in. Because without texture, you have this. With it, with texture, you have feathers. That's that's the idea. So instead of you know not instead of they don't look like feathers, they look now like feathers, and that's the idea. This is why I love to put texture inside of it. But everybody has his own style. And that's what I like about everybody. You know, everybody has their own style, their own way of drawing. And then you can tru truly see what, what, oh, how people draw and how they create it. And that's the most magnificent thing to look at. I always try my very best upon drawing correctly. Sometimes I am unable, sometimes I'm able to. So, uh, oh boy. There you go. And sometimes I did not draw too hard. That means makes sometimes very problematical uh, wings because the feathers are sometimes too light. And I need to redraw because I need to draw this line, this uh, n uh, nerve. I don't know how do you call it? The thing, the pointy thing that connects everything with uh, every every feather, the middle section. I need to draw it, but sometimes I don't have. Um, sometimes the, the drawing is a little bit too less draw drew or drawn, and then it doesn't work out. So yeah, um, I'm trying to get better at it, and I always think like you know every single time I'm continue working on this project and working on other projects if I want to, you know, it gets me better to my goal, you know, being better at this. And the more I see other people dr uh, draw, the more I learn how to um, how I can draw myself because it's all about the learning process with me. It's uh, like I have never used a tablet before, and you know now almost a year in, I'm like, yeah, I can do this. It's less problematic with uh, you know it's less problematic with a pencil upon you know sharpening. You don't you don't need a sharp pencil for this. You just need to know how to draw sharp. Sometimes it depends on your PC, sometimes it doesn't, and then you know you need to go for, you know, a better PC sometimes, so normally I will upgrade my PC only when, you know, I don't I am unable to do things that I wanted to do. So the next upgrade on my PC is gonna be like uh, a new processor just to get better uh, processing power because the uh, processor on my PC is like really sluggish it's like 2005 processor in it everything else is well updated but this is uh, the, the, the processor is not and I knew that my uh, everything that I worked with will not get uh, erased if I'm correct so I should not be that worried about getting a new thing but yeah, um, drawing feathers, everybody. That's so much fun to do. Because, you know, feathers are like really easy to draw. But if you are um, like me and you have trouble drawing feathers because of, you know, you cannot draw big ones so that you can put more detail to it, you actually want to have these feathers that are, you know, well made, but, you know, the pixels are not well, very well. 
you need to develop a way of doing that. And that's one way is to increase the DPI, which, you know, normal people would do. But my PC is like, ah, uh, you know, um, I'm a very good PC, but I cannot handle like 600 DPI. I only can handle 300. And I'm like, all right, boy, I'll, uh, I'll find a way. So, yeah, I found a way to do that by just, you know, draw a drawing and then uh, getting better at it eventually. Yeah, my, um, oh damn, I did not draw this hard enough. No. Stick, stick. That's the main problem that I'm now dealing with, like, you know, sometimes when I, uh, when I quit and then the next day I will draw, I always forget that I need to press. When I'm drawing feathers, I need to f don't forget to press a hard uh, look on it, or a hard draw like this. Because otherwise the feather on top of it will overlap it and then, you know, it won't, it won't work correctly. So that's uh, this is a this is a thing that I always need to keep in mind because otherwise the detail will be lost and we don't want to have the detail to be lost. That uh, would be a very shame. Also, sometimes this looks very weird because of the uh, thing. So, my apologies upon that because that's a thing that happens. All right, uh, and we're going back now. And we're back here. Why? Because we need to fill up the area. I don't want to I don't want to see any none. I don't want to see. I don't want to see this uh, white amount of stuff. I don't like it. I don't like it because it doesn't feel right. And by drawing the texture, when I'm then finally start coloring, I don't have to be worrying about too many times using the right shader or you know, um, filling in stuff. Because the shader actually will follow the texture, and the coloring will follow the texture, you will create an um, in-depth, well, an in-depth uh, uh, shadow. Yeah. You will create a, you, you will create shadow within, within the color because of the texture itself. Which I like a lot. This is why always every single thing that I drew, the uh, gray is always uh, is always on top of the color, if I'm correct. So this way, um, the color will not uh, the color will touch the gray, but because everything here is transparent, uh, it should not touch it that much. It will change the color, but it will not change it that much. It will still be gray. Will still have the outlines of gray, but you know the different kind of colors can be different kind of view. So yeah, I like it. I really, really like it. I really like this program, not because of uh, the many custom capabilities, but uh, it responds very quickly. Also, I can draw like really good circles, which I like. I can just draw circles instead of non-circles. I can zoom in very, very deep and very, very, uh, very accurate. Also, uh, let me see. Also, I don't have to um, calibrate all the time my um, my tablet. And a funny thing about this, pro a funny thing about this software is actually that it is free. I bought it because of, you know, Steam. But then, even then, it was like, what? 10, 10 euros? I was like, alright, fine, I'm fine with it. It's good enough. For 10 euros, it's very well done. and very well made. It is really responsive. Um, it goes with the flow. It has many options. It can create, it can create very good art. So, yeah. That's, um... Oh boy, I made a mistake then, didn't I? Did I, did I, did I, did I? Nah, not really, but ooh, that was a close one. So, um, yes. 
the mo the more the more important thing that I'm now doing is you know getting everything up and running you know getting this wing done. The wing is gonna be the most difficult thing to do because if I'm done with the whole project, if I'm done with the whole hawk at least or hawk moth, I then will be able very easily to create environments because environments are not like really hard things to do. Well, normally they would be very hard to do because you know trees and all that stuff but um my uh, uh, uh how to say this i am get i am used to drawing environments i'm used to it i'm also used to drawing creatures but i'm not used to drawing humans i'm not used to drawing horses and all that stuff so if i would draw something it would be rather bird like or it would be rather and uh, rather reptilian or fish like it uh, insect i can do so i can i can draw insects they're not that difficult but you know all the all the fuzzy stuff hide and all that stuff that's it's really hard to do without misshaping or putting it out of proportion it's it's a really hard thing to do anyway so I'm trying to do my very best to get better at it this is why um, I like this is why I always try to do that beforehand like you know I'm now knowing that I know now that I drew things out of proportion in some of my old works and um, I'm trying to get better at it easy to say I guess yeah, I like Creator as as well. S uh, switch to uh, switch to CPS for uh, for the comic page layout and shortcuts. It offers it offers a, it offers the 3D models I can pose uh, to use as refs. But I honestly I thought Creator had a more natural interface. Yeah, I really like this interface. I really like it. Not because it is. It is well. It is. It's because it is very easy to understand what everything does, and it is very quickly to get access to it. Also, the brush. Also, the brushes are good. Um, what I want to do one day is gonna be my making my own custom brush, and then you know, use that for painting, like skills and all that stuff. I can do that. You know, make a black white, uh, make a reverse black white version, and then you know, test it out, and then. Eventually do that so that I have custom made um, skills so that I don't have to draw them all over again. But I could just do that anyway because you know I can draw skills. You know it's it's not that co it's not that difficult as long as you just follow the lines of all the things and then just use the strokes because every single thing needs to be a little bit random. But you know that's how you create skills if you if you then zoom out. You know you get this. You get this. You get this stripe look, but of course, you know it's not the best one because I drew it wrong. Most likely, I will just draw it like this. But also, you can see that the DPI sometimes the DPI is very terrible. Uh, I sh If I draw, if I draw skills, I need to do that on. Uh, I need to draw it. Oh boy, I even watched out. Oh my god. Yeah, I need to do this zoomed in, otherwise I will not be able to do it. <laughs> I'm very terrible at you know not zoom, not being zoomed in at all, because that's up the uh, amount of vision. Um, glad you like uh, Crater uh, uh, Blue. So, um, CSP, what does that stand for? Is that the Photoshop version or uh, the Adobe? I mean. I think it is, but I don't know. Alright, now let's see. Where, how long do I need to go? Jeez. It's gonna be a long way down there.
but yeah, if I wanted to go for more DPI, I need to. So I think next year I will upgrade my um, my PC for more processing power and see if that work if that works out, so that I will be able to stream the art as well. Because you know, the more the more DPI I need, the more processing power I need, more uh, the terrible. The and also, I will be able to stream better if I'm correct. Oh, Clip Studio Plus. It's a Japanese program that's made in uh, made for manga. Ooh, sweet. It's one of a one-time payment as opposed to monthly like Photoshop, and you have half of sales. Oh, that's actually quite cool. That that's what I like. That's what I like. I don't like monthly pays. I don't like it. That's why I like the one-time payments because it will create. It is maybe less great, but it is better for you in uh, in a way of like you know finance. Also, I don't mind paying sixty bucks for a for a program. I do mind paying sixty bucks each year. That's like no, I don't have the income to do that, and I won't pay you like. 60 euro per year uh, per year it's like now I could do so much things with it like going to a dinner or something so yeah but yeah that that's really cool to have have a have a program that actually can uh, where you can actually produce manga it's actually quite cool I like manga. I I I have seen some of the, I have seen some of the mangas like from Bleach. Uh yeah, Bleach yeah, Bleach. Yeah, that's the word. It's a really it's a real cool. Uh, I really like the story of Bleach itself. And I like the manga itself as well. But I quit like watching manga. I quit it like 2 3 four five six seven years ago because I was busy with too many things else and since I have now some I have some spare time left like you know I can go back to it because I found a website where I can read manga and watch anime so I'm very happy about that it's really handy dandy if you can do that so I'm now I'm currently rewatching the whole Bo 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 series again. The very fun don't make any sense kind of storyline, which is quite cool. I like their humor. It's really, really dry. But it's good humor. Also, um Good news. I uh I just uh I just saw the uh, beautiful thing. It's called uh that it's going to be very cold this year. <laughs> so, I probably going to be again very uh not very happy about that because every single year my nose is going to be stuck into a sniff time, you know. Very sniffy. And well, you know that happens. So I'm probably gonna be losing some sleep there. But yeah, a cold nose, very cold nose, very bloody as well because I always get a bloody nose in winter. God knows how, but that's because it's dry, dry and cold, and then you know that doesn't work well with each other. Come on, come on, yeah. There you go, feathers. We can do it. Feathers. Feathers. So. Oh my god. What was happening to me and then. Oh. Bloody hell. There you go. Uh, yeah. There you go. Well, let's see. So we now have going here. Oh, no, no, 
Let me yes, there you go. So yeah. Um I think I will be able to buy the processing power and then you know do the rest next year. So that's gonna be great. And then do the rest. So uh. I'm looking forward to next year. I'm looking forward to get myself a better piece, uh, getting myself a better processor, and then be able to play games way more better than beforehand because my processor is really terrible. So yeah, because I only have a dual core, that means that I can only do two tasks at once, and what I want actually with my PC to be is that I can do eight tasks or sixteen tasks at once, just so that it can finally do something so it can stream steadily so I can divide the jobs of streaming and uploading you know at the same time so I can stream games and the recording software will div the recording software's process will be divided then quick better and then that way the uh, problem with you know that the software uh, causes, you know, uh, uh, pixel lost or well, pixel performance loss will then then be less uh, lesser, which happens if I try to stream some of the games, you know, heavily intend heavily heavily high great games, you know, those normally are like really terrible at it. So if I would play like Skyrim. For instance, I won't be able to um, have any decent gameplay because of the amount of um, pi uh, pixel lost, which is quite annoying. My only issue with my computer is that it, uh, is that my uh, that my solid state is so tiny I can't have much at once, and my auto drive is bigger but slow. <laughs> So slow, low. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Well, you. I already paid like now two thousand euros on my PC in uh in a ten year span of having this PC. So it's like ten years for paying two thousand two thousand euros to upgrade my PC. That's like not a lot. So every every two or every two years, I just try to upgrade my PC as good as possible. Not always with the best graphic card. Don't get me wrong, graphic cards are important, but sometimes you need RAM or something else like that, something tiny, and then you know you add those things up. So yeah, um, I the first PC I had was a very was a very cheap one, like it was only. 500 euros and could not even play one single game on it because it did not have a graphic card. Then I bought a very cheap graphic card. Then, uh, uh, then after two years, I upgraded my graphic card to a better a graphic card. Then, it, then the games got even more, more stronger and powerful. You know, more painful for the graphic card. So I needed to switch in. So then I changed up my graphic card again. And now I'm stuck with that graphic card for a long time now, almost two, three years. I upgraded my RAM from four to sixteen. I gained an SSD, so it's all you, you know. Just tiny little steps make a very big effort. So as long as you take just baby steps, you should be fine. You should be fine. Just, just take your, just take your time. PCs don't, don't PCs don't change as long as you are able to play your favorite games or do your favorite things. Normally, you don't need to change. The only th times you need to change your PC is when things like you know you wanted to go streaming on YouTube or have a steady view, uh, well, steady point, a steady view on the stream. You know you don't want to have a blurry vision or totally pixelated. That's my main issue right now. And you know, I'm very happy that I got that far already. That I at least can play some games steady, without w without any performance loss, which I'm very happy happy for that it happens. Th well, that I can do it. 
Sometimes I have issues with YouTube, you know, sometimes I get still get buggy visions, but eh. It's YouTube. It's YouTube. It's YouTube. And it's not my problem. It's YouTube because YouTube sometimes has troubles with, you know, connecting to the router, connecting to the server, connecting to every single thing that you do. And then you have this very, very vague, you know, gameplay where you just totally got uh, wasted because it did not start st 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 streaming. Ugh. Words are so tongue twisted these days. Ugh. I'm very not good at it. Speaking for long sentences, long sentences, especially when I'm trying to do my very best upon speaking properly. But yeah, I'm also start finally writing again, so I'm now done with the outlines almost, like only one chapter to go, and I'm like, I can now finally start beginning with writing some of the parts. And then showing it off to see if it is any uh, any good. And hopefully it will. If hopefully I will get better at it. Because you know I need to learn English better because it's a quite important language to learn. Also because I already learned it at school, it doesn't mean that I should quit learning because you know you still need to use it at your daily job, at your daily days. Because a lot of things are in English, and I wish to just, you know, keep on with that language. Because the main, the main issue, yeah. Well, I like it. That's why I. That's why I. That's why I also watch done stream. <laughs> I like to write it. I still have this. I still have the story in my head, but you know, I can never. I can never express this to I can never express it through writing, and now I'm trying to get it expressed through writing because I can express it through through uh, drawing. I can express it. I can make it. I can draw. I can draw the whole thing, but I cannot express it through writing. And if I then will be able to express it through writing, I can then use those to combine them, and I have a thing that I, that 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 you can see and work around with. Uh, let's just take a look, because it's almost 50 o'clock, so, wow, we're almost there, nice, good job everybody, we're almost there. Look at that bird, yes, you are cute. Alright, uh, mm. so, let's just take a, let's just take a break for, uh, let's see if this is now running well. Um, did I care? Did I cap up? Uh, keep up? Oh well, kept up with the uh, same texture as the other one. Yes, I did. Did I kept the same texture on the bird wings? Yes, I did. Good, and that's correct. I now need to get the last part over here done so that I then can make this. Then I can complete this part of of the wing so that I can then focus on that one. Um, then I need to make sure that I have this as well correctly done. Oh boy, that, this is going to be a very difficult part to do. <laughs> oh, nice! Nice, I didn't know that you were actually in the reverse kind of thing. Because your drawings are you you drew you you well what you draw what you draw well, 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 eh, your drawings are really nice to look at, but also, but also your uh, writing is also good if I'm I, if I remember properly from some of the streams. I really like the art style, so. But yeah, um, as you did not know, <laughs> ah, no problem, no problem. As you did not know, like um, I'm, I have dyslexia, of well, d dyslexia, or how you call it. So that's why I always like, hmm, should I write? Ha, ah, no, you know, that's that's my main answer. Like I am not very good at writing 
sentences or, or writing a book. So I was like, oh, that is always the part that uh, that I always be like um, that hold me back. My my uh, the holding the holding back part is just you know this uh, how much uh, how much is going on like. You know, you want to write, but you are terrible at making sentences correctly. So you should try it, but then it will c cost a lot of effort. So this is why I started first with out outlines, and then make these outlines, you know, a part of the story. So I use the outlines to get to the story, and then write it with the outlines in check. So it's more like a checkbook, like. Did he do this? Yes. Did he do this? Yes. Did he do this in this particular order? And then you know, I will be able to write. I can then, I can then more quickly, uh, or well, better write it down so that uh, the whole uh, story will make sense. But I also need to make sure that my sentences are making sense, and that's the more difficult part. That I'm still trying to get better at. Ah, no problem, no problem. But yeah, I have been drawing my whole life, so that's uh that's a thing. <laughs> that's a real thing, you know. I have been drawing like a lot. I have been drawing since I was six, and I have been drawing a lot of things. I even had once that I was at uh, primary school. Yeah, probably that's primary school, if I'm correct. Primary school is where the children from from four, only oh no, from five to twelve go to. Um, let, let's just resume that that's primary school. Um, there was a there was a woman, an artist, that always came. To my drawings and pick them out of the garbage can because I always drew things, but I always threw them away. Like you know, for as a kid, I was like non non aware like what I drew or what I want to draw. I just draw like I like this. I will draw it. I like to draw this, and then you know I drew. It. But most of the things that I drew, well, what I, what I draw, what I draw, yeah, most things that I draw draw drew as a kid were uh, reptilian like creatures. More on the eastern side of things, so they're more like eastern looking because you know I went to uh, I went to I went to sh I went to China when I was six. I went to Helsinki when I was eight, or something like that. I don't remember every single thing, but I traveled a lot when I was a kid, not from school out, but uh, to visit. Uh, visit family and you know with that I was always interested in these museums that there were you know animals that have been put on display you know and all how how they look like and how fascinating they look like in one of the vill uh, one of the towns nearby there is actually a, a big giant mi mi <laughs> <I'm just laughs> It slows down writing since I have to double check what I've been written. I always love writing so much that I just kind of dealt with it. <laughs> yeah, they're really pretty. Indeed. Yeah. But that that part that you just wrote, wrote down with dyslexia, you know, it slows down the writing part. That's what I... Uh, because I have it like heavily, it's really hard for me to... Um, in my native, uh, we are getting uh, at my uh, at my s diploma. Well, when I got my diploma for you know uh, uh, primary, and then you have the other school. Uh, when uh, high school, yeah. When you finish high school, I had this problem, you know, that I would not be able to um, succeed in my language. You know, I speak my language, but I cannot write it. That's the main problem. So they asked me to write down a summary of uh, an article about uh, 
uh, what was it about? I have no idea. But it was an article about something very important that happened these years, you know. And I needed to write a summary about this article and then, you know, give my opinion upon it. But because I was disle uh, because I was a dyslectic uh, uh, person and I had really damn trouble with it, I scored like a tree for it. And a tree is not very high. <laughs> a tree is like, um, hmm, very, very terrible. And I could not do anything about it because, you know, that is just me. I always accepted that if, if I need to write something down, I'd rather do it uh, verbally because otherwise I will fail at it miserably. Miserably. Yeah, miserably. Miserably. Yeah, words these days. Whew, so difficult. So yeah, um, that was actually a thing that happened, and uh, so I needed to score a five, and you don't want to know how damn hard I tried to score a five for that exam. Holy hell, that was hard. That was super duper duper hard. I earned it, but <sighs> way too scary, way too scary, way too scary for me. And so, that's why I always were like, hmm, should I really pay attention on what I write down? No, no, I don't need it anymore. I finished it off with high school and I don't need it anymore. That was my, uh, that was my uh, way of thinking back in the day, you know. Now to think it is like, no, you stupid idiot, you always need your writing skills, god damn it. So, yeah. Um... I learned I learned a lot because I like to learn. Don't get me wrong here, but I like to learn. I was a very good person in uh, at biology because it was interesting to me, and sci uh, and science and uh, mathematics were also a thing. So I had no trouble. Only trouble I had was with the stupid, you know, uh, stupid English and stupid native language. Not the reading part, but uh, but but the writing down part, and I always scored like fours and threes and twos. I never scored really well with that, so I was surprised that well at at the end, you know, things are good. I had I had one I had one boss to get really mad at me when I kept trying to number, uh, kept getting numbers out of order. And she was like, "What? What are you, dyslectic?" And I was like, "Yes!" <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Oh, you don't want to know what what happened when I was. Uh, I had a I had a I had a person that you know hired uh, when I was uh, doing a a work. St uh, I was an intern at a company, and they were like, you know. Where do we need to t where do we need to look f uh, look for? I always need to say what I ha what I have. So I was like, I am dyslectic and I am uh, epileptic and I have autism. So, and then the, that guy was uh, then the the person that wants to hire me was like, so, oh right, we can handle it. And then they realized very quickly how terrible I could uh, how terrible I write uh, write things down, and they were like. Um, hmm, maybe we should, um, ask somebody else to write it for you, or give you at least some hints and tips on how to do it. And I'm like, yeah, thank you. So, they did not realize how terrible I had it, and <laughs> it was quite funny to see, like, they were like, oh shit, he really has it, oh damn, no, 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 we need to fix this quite, quite, quite really fast. So, yeah, um... The people there really helped me, so there was no problem there. I'm I I was really happy that I had it, that I that I was on an internship. It didn't matter that I did not make money off so or, or so, but you know, it's really nice to have something to work for. Going so, going to somewhere, you know, visiting the place. That's uh, that's always nice. But yeah, um. Bosses. Some bosses understand you and some bosses don't. And, you know, sometimes I don't mind. Uh, wait. 
Yeah, this... Oh, I did this one wrong. No. No. I did it the wrong way. God dang it. Nah, damn it. Ah. Alright, fine. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Jeez Louise. Ah. Fellas these day these days. Whew. Sometimes you wish you don't didn't need to draw them. I'm not that good at drawing feathers, but holy hell that that's quite annoying. You don't wanna know how annoying it is when you see your own mistakes like um those are only stripes and I'm like, yes, they're only stripes. Maybe we should fix that. And I'm like, yeah we should. We definitely should. So yeah, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix it that it doesn't look only stripes. So yeah. This is why I always double check my artwork, like, hmm, what can I not see? And then I'm like, ah yes, I can only see stripes, that's not very good. That's not that's not what I wanted. That's not what anybody wanted. So yeah, um, and now I did draw. Did I now draw too hard? Yes, I did. God damn it! Well, the good news is I have this now, so I can just you know jump over. There you go. All the all the text stuff is gone, so it's now no longer very very recording. I should not have done this. I should have done it way better, but. Uh, doesn't matter that much. I just need to fix this a little bit. Ooh, yee, mistakes, mistakes. Oh. So yeah. Oh, so it's already an hour in. Um, I think I need to quit then because you know it's an hour, and I cannot draw longer than an hour, otherwise I will get exhausted too much. And then tomorrow I will do the same, just on the same time, I guess, just seven o'clock at night. Well, at after dinner, just after dinner, after the lovely dinner. So, um, safe, double safe, because I don't trust you. I don't trust you, me boy. You're almost a. Uh, you're almost. Uh, no, I don't want to double do it. I could, but I will just tr double do it. Not. Yes, yes, replace. I could do it, but it is 7.4 GM megabytes. Mm, no, 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 no. I don't want to. Uh, don't want to cause the terabyte to be there. Um. So, um. I think I'm gonna quit now. So yeah, I will. Um. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh. I hope you all enjoyed for today. And uh, anyway. Thanks for watching, and uh, I wish you all a great day, because you know every day is great. <laughs> so uh, until the next time, anyway, and I'll see you then. Bye all. <laughs>